everybody. It's Gypsy, and this is this week's up, update, uh, January 22nd to the 28th, 2023. First, I'd like to start off with, um, for those of you who watched my video on making hand-dipped, tapered beeswax uh, candles that I am naturally dying, I tried uh, the beetroot powder to make pink. I hope you guys can see the color on here. Came out this nice pale pink. Um, what I've noticed is the beetroot powder does not really dissolve in the wax. So I have little speckles. I actually like it. Um, the next one I'm going to try is red or making a darker pink. So this was two teaspoons of beetroot powder to a can of beeswax pellets. So I think I am going to try at least four teaspoons of beetroot powder and see how that works to get a darker pink or red. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, for the stuff outside, stay tuned. I'll show you what I have been working on and what I have accomplished this week. I actually feel accomplished this week for a change. <laughs> Okay, everybody, another update is the wooden gate to the left. I have started scraping and painting it, and I have discovered something while I was scraping. Um, it's on the other side. These boards here are rotten. So these one, two, three, four boards I have to get by new lumber and cut it and put those on. So I'm going to have to redo those. And then this, I think this frame feels a little, it feels soft. So I'm going to take this frame and the screen out. I'm going to leave it out. I don't think I'm going to replace it. I'm just going to leave it with those bars in the background, and that's it. Okay, so then the shed is nearly done. Didn't go as quickly as I thought it would this third time, <laughs> trying to redo it. Um, I have most of the siding up. Now, it's kind of like almost a patchwork quilt the way I'm doing it, because I had the siding left over from the original um, shed. But I started putting it up there to the top left, and obviously I don't like it. Um, I tried to take the top part of the first panel I put in, uh, like take the nails out so I could put it behind, but I couldn't get the nails out. So I think I have another idea. I'm gonna take that corner piece out and I'm gonna side it differently. I um, still have to finish the roof. Now, I'm really excited because I always liked that corrugated, it's not, I guess it's plastic roof. And they were always, the panels were always so expensive. My friend Kim sends me a link to one and they were very reasonably priced. So next week, I'm going to get the corrugated roofing for this, um, you know, and everything I need to install it. And then I have to do the door. But in the meantime, because I cannot stand the mess in my yard, I have actually, I put my, um, I put my, whoops, let me back this up. I put my shelves there, in there, and I started putting my tools and stuff in, you know, just putting some stuff in here, just to straighten it up a bit. I got my wash tub over there and stuff because it's the mess has been driving me crazy. I don't like um, messes and chaos. It makes me very tense. So I needed to start doing this. But anyways, since I am going to be putting the corrugated up there. Now, here's the thing. When I was looking for roofing for the greenhouse, I wanted the clear corrugated, but it was too expensive. So I was just kind of doing like a... um. Dutch barn roof shape, and I was going to use the heavy duty plastic. 
Not so sure that would work with this climate because it gets so windy. But this same roof, uh, I'm going to get either the brown or the green for this. But they also come in clear and they're the same price, which is really reasonable. So, my, where's my greenhouse? My greenhouse. I am going to change the posts. I'm going to take out those posts. And I'm going to do like um an A-frame. Whoops, whoops, I'm sorry. An A-frame type roof. Too close, I think. Um, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get that clear corrugated and use that. So I'm really excited about that. Um, let me think. I think that covers it for this week. Um, I got a lot done, but you know I'm trying to concentrate one thing at a time, so it's not a whole lot. But I'm going to leave you with that. Blessed be, and make it a joyful one.